Welcome back everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with the Giants Holiday Let's Play Special Number 8, Unreal Orange. And as you can see, we have some spanky new orange equipment. And well, let me explain. Uh, this, many of you are familiar with. It is a Lizard Forge pick up by Fluffy Mad Mods. It will pick up any, everything and anything, including straw, as you can see here. We also have a little dolly, and I went with this dolly here. This is the Tonar PTT by Serga56. And the reason I went with this one rather than the Schnüffelstuck, as I often use, is it's just a little shorter. Uh, the Schnüffelstuck is quite long, and I wanted to keep it as short as possible. And this is, um, well, a little bit shorter. And of course, I can make it orange, of course, this one can be made orange too, but as I said, I wanted to keep it as short as possible uh, and uh, because this is short so that the straw would have less or, or not as far to go because we have this. This is the 53 do drop deck trailer by Mac Trucker 921 <clears throat> which as an option there are many options with this actually it's under drop deck trailers or low loaders sorry it's under low loaders and here it is it is in addition to many things a uh, auto load bale trailer however we have flat deck uh, auto load bales a tipper body standard at 106,000 an unrealistic tipper but 500,000 liters so that's why it's unreal uh, and we also have a logging a liquid tank an unreal liquid tank at 250,000 liters a slurry spreader slurry spreader unrealistic and back to the flat deck so it is many uh, auto loading bale or just a flat deck and of course uh, it does actually have a rear hitch so you could yeah anyways um, so if this field looks somewhat unfamiliar, you would be correct because this is a contract I picked up. And if we hop into here, so uh, yes, I'm collecting straw on a contract field with this. If you don't already know about this, uh, the Lizard Forge pickup, uh, yes, you can remove straw off of a contract field that you don't own. Or as a matter of fact, you can remove anything off of anywhere whether you own it or not. And um, with this setup here, um, I've got, um, well, let's say we're just nefariously collecting straw. And uh, let's turn this on. So as you can see, it does pick up. Now, I've only got it up to about 200,000 liters. And there has been some comments on this particular or the trailer in particular that it will only fill up so far with using this setup so i haven't actually got past the 50 percent uh i did notice that if uh if you do try and pick up a uh, straw at an an odd angle like that it's uh it has a little it's a little quirky and as we straighten out, I think, there we go. So, so once you straighten out, it seems to be okay for now. Um, so we'll see how far we can get. Now, if we uh, just stop here for a moment. And so here's a truck. So it's obviously a semi trailer setup, but I have the dolly so I can pull it with the tractor. Now, let's hop over to our field here for a second. I did uh, I did use it to pick up off the, all the straw off of this field as you can see it's clear but we do have our two other fields that have straw still I put down this sale point because I just didn't want to drive all the way to the straw sales to sell our straw but uh, if we look down at prices uh, where's our straw I'm past it I think there come on where is it uh, hey straw here we go so the livestock stock market is paying a little better for straw than our sell everything which is right here but this was way more convenient and it probably because uh, this thing is such a huge trailer it has a little bit of a difficult time maneuvering through this map as this map is 
quite cramped in some areas so uh, just an alternate sell point I'm not going to use it for everything however um, yeah I am going to use it when uh, selling the straw just for that reason I don't want to be just jammed up into a spot where I can't move and end up doing something uh, oh there we go we're running into a little bit of an issue. It's getting a little bit finicky where it wants to not pick up straw. So we're going to see how far this is going to go. Even at 200 and... Well... Eh, so far, so good. We'll see how far we can get with the straw loading into this. I. Th yeah, well, it's still working pretty good. Um, we'll see how yeah well we'll see how much straw we can. You know, I think might have to maneuver around a little bit to actually get it. So it's uh, going straight on into. Uh, oh, let's put some more in. Right. Anyways, uh, aside from that, five hundred thousand liters is a massive amount and should do well with uh, with uh, being able to take only have to take one load of grain to a. Uh, a sell point rather than more than oh we're starting to we're starting to glitch out eh, it's still picking up hmm it's starting to act a little bit weird though anyways I'm gonna continue with this and uh, at some point I'm gonna see where it's going to end Maybe now. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Anyways, um, yeah, is it? It's, yeah. So 248, it's starting to act a little bit. I think, I think what the issue is, is it's wanting to load to the back and it just doesn't reach that far I think is what was yeah maybe maybe not it's hard to say really what the issue is however still if uh, if 200 and f eh, it's still picking up anyways we'll continue on we'll see you in a bit well as I suspected um, we were only able to fill it up Oh, about 65% and due to the uh, oh let's get back in our tractor here um, due to I think it because uh, once it fills to a certain point it wants to fill further back and the uh, when it's attached to the front like up here which we're gonna un yeah it's it's just does not it's not recognizing it's just too far away I think that's what's happening and if you can see here I get a little closer and it's gonna dump in there yeah so no problem we still like I say got 300 and something thousand liters of straw free straw I might add from a contract of course the contract uh, was uh, let's see take a look at the contracts uh, I've completed it. I got twenty thousand dollars, or I will when I when I accept. So the trick is, don't um, turn in the contract before you collect all the straw, because then the straw will all go away and you won't get to collect it. So you got to collect it all before you turn the contract in. However, I have completed it, and I did get about twenty nine thousand dollars worth of um, <clears throat> extra crop sales 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 so oh come on attach there we go so to keep things simple I'm just gonna take this over to our farmyard this yard here is a little bit difficult to get out of but not impossible because there is a railing here and this trailer is quite long however uh, we're going to show you the one time we're just gonna empty it out once to show you um, the well 
the other issue with this see so we can we got 335 335,000 yes liters of straw it will take a minute to empty this so it is a bit of a process this uh, that's the one thing about the uh, unreal capacity um, setting on this particular trailer is that as you can see here we're gonna dump it is a very high tipping and as you can see it is emptying out fairly quickly but at 300,000 plus liters it takes a minute to unload however our money is going up quite rapidly as well and um, if you bear with me for this moment we are going to um, going to see what it ends up with I'm gonna have a sip of coffee right now because it is still morning time while recording this even though game time is uh, three o'clock in the afternoon here it is getting kind of darkish it is January game time and and actually January now <laughs> at the time of this recording so there it is all right we're almost done looks like we're gonna get a fair deal for our straw yeah forty five thousand dollars I'll take that fifth almost actually 50 grand with the bonus so that's where the environment in very in very amount in environment environmental oh I am a little bit mental um, environmental score uh, bonus for that um, gives you even extra dollars on the sale of straw which is pretty nice actually it'll give you the bonus on everything you sell fertilizer herbicide anything you're selling really uh, except except for livestock I don't think you get it for livestock I'm pretty sure you don't but anything you sell at a sell station so if you are producing pallets of um, like fruits or um, strawberry anything you sell literally anything you sell at a cell station you will get a bonus based on your environmental score which of of those of you who don't much play with um precision farming that is the bonus is the environmental score 85 percent uh so that's going to give me uh, how much of a bonus i forget uh, I don't think it's 85% bonus. You do get a bonus for having a good environmental score. So the higher your environmental score, the more bonus you get. As I said, how much? I'm not sure right at this moment. I can't remember if I even ch ever tested the actual amount of percent of bonus you get. But anyways... Here we go at it again we've got this uh oh, we got lots of straw we're gonna get we're gonna make a bit of money off of this so once we're all done which is gonna be a lot of collecting straw and i'm not going to bore you through the whole process however we will catch up with you um perhaps when i'm done this field and we will do we'll finish this field off uh get the final uh total of our straw that we uh, and already um what to do with fifty thousand dollars worth of straw that's already more than uh than i made from the contract for uh for the wheat sale and what i'm going to make off the contract so contracts uh for uh now that have straw this was a wheat contract by the way are quite lucrative if you're stealing the straw off of it um obviously so anyways um off i go collecting more straw he's not going to use it anyways so it's not like it's really stealing it i'm just taking it off his hands shall we say anyways uh we'll see you back uh when i get a uh when i'm done really that's what it's gonna be there you go well here we are with the last load of straw from that just that one field and uh so on this day january 
if we're uh, going to see what we end up with so remember we sold um, we sold all the oats that we had for these three fields so that's gonna appear uh, on this day we also sold about twenty thousand dollars worth so another twenty thousand dollars here in in straw so hundred and twenty thousand dollars in straw just off that one contract uh if we take a look at our um so um contract income we haven't got any yet but harvest income three hundred and forty seven five so that's um the is it oats whatever we had on this field i think it was oats we had planted here um, and then the the extra wheat that we sold from the contract and then the straw and we still have so now what we can do since we've got all the straw off of that field now we can go in and we can collect that right ba bam so back up to 247 uh, after buying all that equipment and so now what now what you may say well we have two more contracts that we have uh, plus all the straw we have left on our fields that we have yet to pick up but kind of want to finish off these contracts so what's going to happen now is we're going to move on to the next field and uh, the next field is actually uh, 12 so 12 uh, is the next field and 12 is not huge but it is a fair sized field as you can see here a fair sized field now not as big as if we take a look so we got 12 and 59 59 is massive 59 is this one here massive massive field that's going to take a minute uh, compared to where are we now here we are over 12 so 12 is say half the size and what we just finished I do believe where was it one field one so field one and 12 are well one's probably in the middle this is the biggest this was pretty good size this is the smallest of the three anyway so here we are field 12 let's pop into our uh, let's put our pipe in let us put our wheels out drop that and move over to field 12 uh, can we get out that way I think so thank goodness for these uh, headers that have the wheel attachment and everything like that because that oh we can just sneak over here I think yes I know it's a ditch or something here this is kind of strange <laughs> kind of patchy here I don't know what's going on in this field not my field uh, here we go <clears throat> here's field field 12 so not too far away and a very handy dandy and so what I'm going to do now is we're going to uh, we're going to run the harvest on this one and to keep you posted and up to date come on hook up come on give me oh it's on an incline or on a hill that's nice there we go come on come on there we go nasty um, so yes so I'm going to again drop straw harvest this and when we're ready to take it to the when we're ready to take it to the uh, wherever it's supposed to be taken to we're gonna cut in there and uh, show you um, how much we end up with how much extra we're gonna get and all that good stuff so this is barley Barley looks like it's going to be uh, giving us quite a bit of straw too. That's that's good for us. 
All right, so uh, yes, so that's what's going to happen. Oh, missed a spot. Uh, we are going to uh, run, um, yeah, run the harvest here. Uh, where, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll 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 give you all the details once I'm done here, which shouldn't take too long. Of course, it'll be no time for you because I'm going to stop recording and uh, come back in when we're done, and. Uh, We'll go from there, so see you in a bit. All right, so contract number two, field number two, is complete. No, not to worry, no workers were harmed in this, in this harvesting of these fields. They are absolutely odd shaped and uh, pretty much near impossible to hire a worker to do anything with them. So, uh, yeah, very hands-on type of a map, as you can see. Not a square field. A bit of a rectangular one here. These look like they could pop, but th it's such an odd angle that it's not... It's The worker wouldn't, wouldn't follow this line. He'd be going, like, this way or... Th yeah, as you can see what I mean. Not a square field in... Uh, well, this one's pretty square. That's probably could be worker friendly. The most worker friendly of them all, I think. This one's not too bad. Straight lines are nice for workers. Other than that, they just pretty much. Anyways, enough yapping. Let's uh, see where this contract is going to the Country Trading Point Live, which is. Country trading point. Let's go up to up into here. Country trading point live. Let's highlight that and see where that is. Where is that? Over there. Over yonder. Over yonder that away where the green lighteth pillareth shines to the skyeth <laughs> we shall go there and uh, 202 652 that is the uh, yield off of that field Whoa, that's close uh, so we'll see you over there all right so here I am at the <laughs> oh this is uh this is a bit scary it took me a little bit of effort to get into here this snap is so tight with corners and stuff. This trailer is long and contracts finished and 20 grand uh, extra income, uh, 22 actually, with the environmental score reward. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit of fancy dancy turning around here, I think, because this is not the most um i wonder if i can back oh it's not gonna be fun uh i don't think i can turn be able to turn around here and uh i'm gonna have to somehow get over there oh boy well This map is definitely not made for long trailers. I wonder if I can back up. See that or reset the whole darn thing to the to the store. I think I might end up doing that because this is just. Oh wait a minute, we got some room back here. I don't cheat all the time, just some of the time. Oh yes, there we go. We got some room to back up here. and go forward there we go so we made it out without uh, having to reset anything and uh, we're off to back to that field because we got to collect all that straw so um, and this 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 turn area here is was particularly bothersome uh, I can I, there's no way I'm gonna turn right with this trailer I'm barely gonna squeak it out turning left and uh, we'll have to go off that way back to the field and collect all that straw. I'm not going 
Hopefully I don't have to go back to that particular cell point. That's just a real pain in the behind uh, for sure. But anyways, uh, straw will be collected and then um, and then this this is a field here. This field is massive. Oh my goodness, that's going to be huge. I don't know if I'm going to... There might be more than 500,000 liters of product on this field. But I will keep you up to date and where... Oh, that was where I could turn. I'm just going to go... Definitely going to cheat this one here and see if I can sneak out at some point off this field onto the road. Trees everywhere, fences everywhere, driving me... Oh, there was an exit. Driving me a bit insane, to be quite honest. Um, however... There we go. Definitely, uh, with the large... It's quite interesting with the such large fields. Very little room for large equipment, for sure. Uh, on this map um, makes it quite tricky and a challenge if you're looking for a challenge uh, definitely this is uh, a bit of a challenge we're going to want to turn left here right so uh, we're going to want to go back to field 12 so just over there we'll see you um, well um, when we're kind of done that one I guess Oh, well, here we are with our last a little bit of straw off of that second contract field. And as we dump it here, we're going to, um, we're going to end it out, uh, end it up here because, um, oh, that's, so another, uh, another $9,000 into the coffer. Oh, yes. And let's go in here and, um, collect that. Thank you very much. So, $383,000 collected uh, for some straw and uh, two contracts. Very nice. Now, the reason why I'm ending it here is because, well, we've gone a standard amount of time for a video. Um, in, my, uh, in my estimation, uh, we do still have quite a bit of straw left. <clears throat> it is getting later in the day, and we also have... Um, another contract and remember if we have yeah field 59 here but whilst I was doing that because I had a lot of time to think I have an idea for the rest of the straw and uh, you may or may not have seen this done however I think it's a little bit unique and I think I still could make it orange too so um, thank you all for watching that's it for this episode Unreal Orange. <laughs> we'll see what, what what kind of title, orange title, we can come up with for the next episode. But thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now. <laughs>